again, Jamin. See you sometime. Who knows where I'll see you next? <laughs> Not Washington, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, we're, we're at three states so far. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, Which means we only got 47 left. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. When are we going to get to Alaska or Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we just hit those first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, n next time a, a destination meetup. Like, yeah. none of those will actually <laughs> be there. We'll just, we'll just without purpose. Hey, let's head. Let's go to Utah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Parking crowd? It's, it's per minute actually. So I have 23 minutes right now. Oh shoot. 27. Alright, so Matt and I are currently spending five cents a minute to park in Seattle. And we are walking to a Starbucks. And not just to use their Wi Fi, but actually to drink the coffee. I know this isn't typically what we do. But this is the original location, and we were told that we should check it out, even by proper connoisseurs. And it is an important part of coffee history. They were an important part of bringing in the second wave, introducing espresso drinks to the North American market, and that's what brought us to the delicious pour-overs that we have today. So, in honor of that history, being that we're driving through Seattle, we're going to try it. We might have to cleanse our palate after this at a better shop. Who knows? That line was crazy. Forget coffee history. We came, we saw, we walked away. <laughs> so now we're looking for a hoodie for Matt when we go to the Rockies because apparently it gets quite cold up there. That snow up there means that it's cold. So cold snow. So, so Matt needs a hoodie. So we're walking along this market area because it's kind of cool. It's actually really cool. And we paid for that parking and we're not leaving until we've gotten our 57 minutes worth. coffee shop right along the uh, some sort of body of water there's a bridge over top of it it's like a river I guess I don't know um, long yield on the espresso but a very good flavor out of it also they sweetened the rim of the glass of the carbonated water with like some sort of syrup which was a nice touch good place Getting ready to leave Seattle. Today is a three city day. First Seattle, then Vancouver, briefly, briefly for both of those, then finally suddenly in Kelowna, up in the mountains of BC, before we make our trek back home. Our most packed day so far, not the most driving, but still quite a bit of it. Thanks. <laughs> we are about to cross back into Canada. really enthusiastic. Yay! <laughs> I'm pretty done with the US, if I'm honest. This is also my first bridgeless border crossing because we're going to Vancouver, BC, and there's just land here and water over there, but bridges are not effective in that direction. That's, that's the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Anyways, lots of cars, very exciting, almost in Canada, where we can buy alcohol again. <laughs> Oh goodness. Ah, the Greek rap. 
with potato wedges. Going back to some nice Canadian roots. Welcome to Vancouver in beautiful BC. According to at least 90% of the license plates around us, that's where we are. We're gonna check out another coffee shop on our way to Kelowna because that's what we've been doing. According to a list we found online, Vancouver is the third ranking best city for coffee that isn't a city that's known for coffee. And this shop is the highest rated one on that list. So we're gonna check it out. Not the best on this trip, but uh, certainly not the worst either. Another place without pour over. It was just they had a single origin in their drip machine. What did you think of the drip? It's good. <laughs> Better than most, I would say. But nothing particularly stuck out to me. So. so there you have it. Maybe check it out. Maybe don't. Maybe try another shop. But look at that form. Look at that form. Like a gold medal curling person. I left my camera in the car because apparently this is amateur hours, so I'm back to vlogging from my phone. It was very dark in here, but. We, uh, we met Luke's friend, Matt's older brother's friend, and uh, we went out to a pub because we're allowed to drink here. Which we haven't been allowed to do for the last two weeks. So to celebrate, we got $5 pints and $5 poutine. So I mean, welcome back to Canada.